it's like, it's a command to just like forgive quickly, forgive, you know, right. and understand and, and lean in and uh, have short accounts. What's up guys. Welcome to another five minute fatherhood. So I have a question for you to think about, and that is how long does it take you and your wife to recover from a fight, your typical conflict or fight where you disagreed, you both got angry. How long do you stew? That's a really, really important thing to think about and to figure out how do you shrink the amount of time you spend stewing after a conflict. Yeah. Uh, and this is really, I've noticed in a lot of marriages, um, you know, this can be really tough the first, you know, f- five, 10 years. But t- when you start to figure this out and you start, start to figure out the patterns that help you recover and you start to recover much more quickly it has a really dramatic impact on your family, on your parenting, on your mm. ability to to really get back into the game as a dad and as a mom. Um, and there's some. This really uh, came to mind when I when I was um, reading from a, a psychologist, David Luden, who's got a PhD in psychology, and he said there are couples that fight frequently and vigorously, only to fall in love all over again after the storm has passed. And then there are couples that maintain a cold war state, no open hostilities but lingering resentment and no progress toward resolving the issues. And then he, did a, he, he cited a study where they said the findings in this study corroborate extensive research showing that actively repairing the relationship through expressions of affection can not only bring the partners back to their pre-conflict feelings for one another, it can also push the relationship to a higher level of intimacy. Likewise, avoidance strategies generally lead to negative outcomes. And so it's really important to study the pattern of your conflicts with your wife, uh, exactly how you guys recover, who starts to really show feelings of affection and intimacy, and how long you're staying in those Cold War sort of stances with each other. It's really hard to raise and lead a family team when mom and dad are in a Cold War stance. So we've got to figure out how do we create or change patterns that cause those times to linger uh, and if you can get those, I've, I have friends who who said, yeah, for the first five years of our marriage, it was sort of like about a five day cycle of just resentment, anger, stewing. And now we're down to about an hour, yeah. you know, and I'm like, <laughs> that is awesome. That, that's a world yes. of difference between five days and an hour. Um, and I think it's really, it's an interesting little metric to to really ask yourself and, and what can you do to shrink that amount of time? But yeah, Jeff, have you and Alyssa thought through yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, two one. things, it's two things I think of first one is like, it's just pure math, right? Like if you're spending five days trying to recover from every argument, which me and Alyssa have those, you know, four times a week, you know, then it's like, uh, (laughs) that's going to like over 30, 40 years, that's going to be so much like drag time on your marriage and your family. Right. So that's, that's why it's so important is you're playing the long game. And so then just do the math, right. Of how much you'll actually be in that recovery mode over the long haul that you don't want to be, or in like resentment mode or whatever. Um, and then two, I think it's just biblical, right? Like keeping short accounts is like there's, 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 you can call it your personality. And I do think there's a personality thing of like, yeah, do you need some time to process or do you need some space right. on some of that stuff? But past that, it's like, it's a command to just like forgive quickly, forgive, you know, right. and understand and, and lean in and uh, have short accounts. Now, of course, once a real big pattern emerges, or if there's any patterns that start to become kind of uh, uh, really toxic, I guess, to each other, that that's when like you got to go to counseling. You got to find professional help. You got to break yeah. the cycle of the more toxic yeah. things. But if it's a little bit more of the, I don't know how to say it, like not as intense, just uh, abrasive personality differences that, you know, just make you have conflict. Um, you got to just have that spirit of the Lord. That's like, man, and ask him for help to forgive because he's forgiven us much. And, and with that, you can forgive much and, or you can reconcile or you can renew. And so I think when you, and when you do that, you start to see the fruit of that, of like, like you said, learning a game plan and actually doing it. Cause I think, I think a lot of us, even though we still fight so much, we, once it happens, we get surprised, you know what I mean? Or just like, Oh, I don't know. You know, just kind of all rules go out the window rather than kind of having almost like a game plan for conflict. Like this is the four steps we're going to take, right? Okay. Maybe mm-hmm. we did that wrong. That got us angry. So then we're going to, you need space. I need to, you know, calm down. So now we'll separate for just a few minutes or a few hours or whatever. Come back together. This is how we're going to talk through it. We're going to set aside a day later this night, later this week, where we can maybe talk through it um, in a more peaceful kind of like objective way. Um, and yeah, and I think having that game plan is really important. So guys, definitely be thinking on that and uh, start living in that. 